Hello, everybody. This is going to be a video about using Plotly to make plots. This is the second video in the sequence, so if you haven't watched the first, go back and watch it. And let's jump in. All right. So what we did previously was over here on the left-hand side of the screen, I showed you a plot that I built with matplotlib. Um, I showed you all the code. You can pause and look at the code if you don't know matplotlib very well. And then I built the same plot over here in Plotly. All right now, again, you're going to notice that the Plotly plots have a little bit more code to go around getting the Plotly plot to go. But once you have it, there's a really distinct advantage here. We've got all the zooming, we've got the panning, we can pick this thing up and move it. Uh, there's all sorts of things we can do to this plot that we couldn't really do before, okay? Because matplotlib only gives static plots. So this is the plot we're gonna make now, the one on the left-hand side of your screen. This is the matplotlib code for it. And you'll notice that it's fairly concise matplotlib code. Um, we're gonna build this same plot over here. Now, I've already defined f, g, and h as the sine function, the cosine function, and the sum of the two. That's totally fine. I've also already defined the space. So to make sure that that's in memory, I've just run it. There's our plot, plot from before. Okay, so I'm gonna import plotly.graph objects as geo, geo for graph objects. And I'm gonna do geo.figure. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open a blank figure. And I know in the long run, oops, sorry fig equals. In the long run, I'm going to do fig.show to show that figure. So if I run this, nothing happens. I just get a blank figure window. That's perfectly fine. Now to add plots on top of each other, what I do is I do figure dot or fig dot add underscore trace. Now trace allows me to add a graphic object. So geo.scatter. I'm going to add this graphic object, x equals x, y equals f of x. And I'm going to say name equals, uh, I'll just say sine of x like this. That way my label is going to end up being kind of the same. And now if I do it, I've got this guy. Okay, so not too bad. If I do fig.add underscore trace again and do the same thing, graphic object dot scatter, x equals x, because x again is the name of the domain y equals g of x, and let's see, I'll do name equals, I believe g was the cosine function, and I'm gonna copy that and paste it. I'm gonna do h of x, and that was the sine plus the cosine. And I'm gonna run it, and it goes. Now, so, okay, here's the plot. Now notice that I didn't control the colors like I did over here. I did red, blue, black. And here I just let, let Plotly choose the colors for me. Now there's some beautiful things that you get when you layer plots on top of each other like this in Plotly as well. For example, I can turn plots on and off where it shows me pieces that I want and pieces that I don't want. Well, that's beautiful. I can hover and trace over them, but I can press this button here and do compare on hover, and it compares all of them. That's something that matplotlib, <coughs> excuse me, cannot do. Right? This is a beautiful, beautiful comparison. All right? I can turn that back off and just show the closest on hover. And I can, of course, always do the zoom in, zoom out thing too. I can highlight a region and zoom in. I can come really close to where that intersection is and approximate the intersection. All sorts of good stuff that you can do there. Now, I can do a few more things here too. Like over here in matplotlib, I could have done red like as dashed, right? And blue as dot dashed. And you get kind of the nice features out of this. I can do the same thing here. So in my graphics object, I would say mode equals Let's say the first one was, um, I'll say lines. I've only got a few options that I've actually memorized. The other ones I usually look up. Mode equals markers. 
And here I'm going to do mode equals uh, markers, or I'm going to do lines plus markers. So it's not going to be exactly the same. Oops, I forgot commas in all sorts of places. There's a comma, there's a comma, there's a comma. Let's run that again. Okay, so now if I do mode equals lines, it gave me the line. If I do, do mode equals markers, it just gave me the dots for my domain. And lines plus markers gave me the dots plus the connections. Now I can also have it so that I put a title and some x-axis labels and stuff like that. So I'm going to do fig dot update underscore layout, just like I did before. All right. So if you go back to my previous video, you can see that I did this before. My title equals three trig functions. My x-axis title equals x. My y-axis title equals y. And let's run that and just see what it looks like. OK, so I got my three trig functions, x and y. Now I've basically built this exact same plot with way more functionality out of Plotly. But I can also do, like, uh, let's see here, x-axis equals. Now I can set up a dictionary for what the x-axis is going to behave like. So like I could do a dictionary that says my range on my x-axis is from 0 to 2 times pi. And I can do the same thing for y. Right? No, oh, I would forget a comma right there. Oops. Uh, now, I don't want 0 to 2 pi. So let's just do like minus 2 to 2. And now it leaves the range at minus 2 to 2. And when I turn these guys on and off, it doesn't snap the range around. Notice that if I take these out, I'm just going to control X to cut them. If I start turning like that one off, it rescales the range. And it rescales it when I show it back up again. So it's nice to be able to set up this dictionary where I've got this. Over here in matplotlib, I would do something like plt.y limits are from minus 2 to 2. And it would set it up that way. So again, you're going to see that the matplotlib code is much more concise. But what you gain out of Plotly is much more robust, or I'm sorry, a, a much more robust plot. Um, hopefully, I'm kind of selling you that Plotly is actually the better tool ultimately, but it takes more to build a good plot with Plotly. It's OK. I will put more time and effort into a plot if I know I'm going to get the return for it. And I think the things that I can do with this plot Give me that return. It's pretty beautiful here. Okay, catch you in the next video.